Today, I will present how to connect two Oracle Cloud infrastructure regions using Equinix Fabric Cloud routers. This solution can be used as a replacement for the OCA remote peering connection. This video will follow the network diagram shown on the screen and the primary focus will be creating an Equinix Partner Fast Connect and how to provision and configure the Equinix side. I have prepared all the required data to configure OCA Fast Connect and Equinix infrastructure. This being said, let's start configuring Equinix infrastructure first. On the Equinix Fabric Portal, go to the Cloud Router tab and select Create Fabric Cloud Router. Select the location of the Fabric Cloud Router. In my case, I will select Ashburn now. I will select a billing account, but you can also select the service portal subscription. And I will click Next. I will provide the name for this Fabric Cloud Router. Select a package for this Cloud Router. I will select in this case a lab package because it's a free one and it's for demos. And I will go to the next page. Now I will review and submit the order. Once I got the confirmation that the Fabric Cloud Router was created, I can create the second Cloud Router. Steps to create the second Cloud Router are the same as the first one. The only difference is the naming and the location. In this case, I will use Dallas location. Now, once I get the confirmation that the second cloud router was created, I can check my cloud routers under Cloud Router tab and click on Fabric Cloud Router Inventory. Here, I am seeing the two cloud routers I have created earlier. Now, it's time to create the network. Click on Connections and click on the Create Network. Read the information Equinix is providing and click Next. In the next page, we'll choose the type of the network. It can be a local network, a regional network, or a global network. Because of my two uh, Fabric Cloud routers are in different regions, I will choose a regional network. I will choose the region Amer, and I will choose the type of the network as a Fabric Cloud routers. Enter a name for your network and click Next. Now, review and submit the order. Now, from this screen, I can connect my Fabric Cloud Router by click on Connect Assets to Network. On this page, select Fabric Cloud Router as Origin, choose the location of the Fabric Cloud Router, and choose the Fabric Cloud Router we created earlier. Now, on destination side, choose IP VAN and select the network we have created earlier. Now, click Next. On the next page, provide the name for the connection. Select the connection speed. In my case, I only have 10 Mbps and 15 Mbps because it's a demo account. And click Next. Now, review and submit the order. Once we have the order uh, submitted, we can create the second connection to the second Fabric Cloud Router. For this, we need to go to Connections tab and click on Create Connection. Create connection to my own assets. And now click Create Connection under Connect to a Network tab. And now do the same steps as we did earlier for the other Fabric Cloud Router. Now 
Once the order is submitted, we can check the inventory to see the two connections. Now it's time to switch to Oracle infrastructure and create the two fast connects. By going to fast connect and click create fast connect. Select Equinix Fabric in the partner drop down and click next. Add the name for the connection. Select the dynamic routing gateway. Choose a bandwidth. Add the customer IP address and Oracle IP address. Now we need to introduce the customer BGP address. This can be found on Equinix side under Fast Connect Cloud Router on each region. Once we added customer BGP ISN number, we can click Create. At this point, Phoenix Fast Connect is created. Now we should go to the Ashburn region and create a Fast Connect in Ashburn, same as we did in Phoenix. At this point, both OCA fast connects are created. Now we should see in each region two fast connects which are in the state painting partner. Now let's go back to Equinix portal and start to configure the connections to OCA. Go to connections and create connection. Scroll down and under Oracle Cloud click select service now scroll down and click on create connection under oracle cloud infrastructure fast connect on the next screen we'll click on the primary connection type since this demo is not uh, taking in consideration the redundancy add the oracle fast connect ocid which can be taken from the oca console Select the location of the uh, connection, in this case it will be Ashburn, and click next. Now on origin asset type select cloud router and click select cloud router and we'll select the cloud router created earlier in this demo. Give the connection a name and provide the bandwidth. In this case, I will choose 10 Mbps because it's a demo and click on configure routing details. In this new page, enter the customer BGP IP address, enable BGP, and now enter the peer IP address, which is the Oracle BGP IP and Oracle ISN number, and click save. Click next and finally review the order and click create connection. Once you have confirmation that the connection is created, we can close this window from the top right corner. Now we can create the Phoenix connection as we did on the Ashburn connection using the same steps. Once we have the second connection created, we can go on the OCA console and check to see if the fast connect is provisioned. Once we verify the PGP is up and the circuits are provisioned in OCA and on uh, Equinix portal, we can now modify the IS override feature in Equinix portal.
to activate this feature, click on edit under BGP on the connection side and enable IS override and click apply changes. Now the BGP status will enter the provisioning and it's time to go and do the same on the other connection on the Ashburn connection. Once the BGP status is provisioned, we can now start the validation of the circuit. Go to OCA console and click on the fast connect name. Click on the DRG name. Click on VCN attachments and the DRG routing table. Click on get route rules. And here we should see the Phoenix CIDR block coming from the fast connect. Now we can switch to Phoenix and do the same verification. As you can see on Phoenix, we can see Ashburn CIDR block coming from the fast connect. Finally, we should do some connectivity test on the OCA VMs we have already built. First, we'll do some ping test from Phoenix to Ashburn and from Ashburn to Phoenix. And finally, we'll do some trace path from Phoenix to Ashburn and from Ashburn to Phoenix. As you can see, the connectivity tests are successful. With this, our demo is completed. Thank you for watching.